<laughs> fish on. Big fish. I don't know what it is. It's big. Get out of the grass. It's in the grass. Oh my god, it's a giant, dude. It's a giant. Brock, please net this fish. Please net this fish. Yeah! <laughs> That's a six. <laughs> Woo! Chill, 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 chill. Yeah, we got three. See you, little buddy. <laughs> oh. Mother Nature is trying so hard to freaking warm up, and I'm ready for it. I'm so beyond ready. Mother Nature, when you're ready, we're ready. I've got just a quick video for you today. We're just gonna talk about a few different things. And um, yeah, from there, it's kind of back to planning for me. I've planned out a bunch of stuff kind of already for this spring, and I'm planning out different trips and, and different areas, kind of of the Midwest and down South that I'm gonna travel and kind of explore. Either way, that's besides the point. My dock is not in yet, the rickety old dock. That's on the to-do list for sure, but one thing that I love the most about the spring is that even dirty water lakes really clear up over the winter. And there'll be a few months where the lake is really, really clear. And depending upon like if your lake has an algae bloom or if it's just kind of a little bit muddier lake, um, yeah, it'll kind of get dirtier closer to July and August, kind of the dog days. But for now, in the spring, the lake is so clear. I don't know how well you guys can see but it's like gin clear right now. Oh, very soon, very soon, those gills and crappies will be kind of hanging out in here and hopefully I can just pluck them right off the end of the dock. And then after that, hopefully some big old bias. Okay, really quick, I wanna go through some current events and then talk about something really cool and then we're gonna end it. Then, then I'm gone, then I'm going fishing. All right, number one, current events. This weekend, this Sunday, Intune Marine is having something they're calling Demo Day at Lake Minnetonka. Um, it's kind of right in the metro of Minnesota, so if you live anywhere kind of around the Midwest and you're interested in riding around new boats, whether that be a, a brand new Vexus or a Triton or a pontoon, bring down your family, bring down your kids. It's gonna be awesome. It's at Lord Fletcher's on Lake Minnetonka this Sunday. Um, and I'll leave a link below if you wanna sign up for a slot to do a specific ride in a specific boat. I'm gonna be there and this is gonna be the place that I'm gonna be kind of unveiling my brand new boat for the year as well. So if you're hanging around this weekend, this Sunday, Lord Fletcher's, it's gonna be awesome. And if you're sitting back wondering what Intune Marine is, um, it's basically the place I've always got my boat worked on. It's a place I've always bought boats. They're wonderful people and um, yeah, this is, this is a big event for them and I'm excited to go there and I'm excited to be a part of it. Number two on the agenda. Even though bass isn't open in Minnesota, I know it's open in Wisconsin, Iowa, a variety of surrounding states and obviously it's open down south. Uh, this is the time of year that people are getting geared up. They're buying new rods, they're buying new tackle. I'm doing the same exact thing. And I just kind of wanted to go through the three rods that the folks at Dobbins Rods and myself kind of put our heads together to create. Um, it was a lot more of them than me, but it's I got to feel them out, test them out, and, and I really felt like I was a part of the process in creating a really awesome rod with my name on it. So without further ado, let's go really quick through the three rods in the brand new Sobe series by Dobbins Rod. Bada bing, bada boom. First off, aesthetically, these rods are absolutely beautiful. The Sam Sobe special, it says right there. On the back of it, it shows the action, the power, what we recommend you could use this rod for. Um, it says, let the adventure begin right here. I don't know how well my camera's focusing, but it's freaking awesome. It's got a gold plate in the back. And basically, the Sam Sobe Special Rods are an all-around very buttery rod to the feel, but beautiful to the eye as well. So, this series of rod has been in the works for a long time, like a really long time. I prototyped these rods for the past two seasons. Um, I played around with a bunch of different blanks. Gary, Gary Dobbins, he had a bunch of ideas and, and suggestions and he threw blanks my way and I felt them and fished them and there was ones I liked, ones I didn't like, there was ones he liked 
ones that he didn't like and we basically came to a conclusion on three different rods that we thought kind of covered the way I like to fish and um, we're just a very good all around three rods uh, in the series. So the first rod in the lineup that I'm gonna talk about is a spinning rod. It's the Sam Sobe Special 723 SF. And like I said before, this is a spinning rod and this is the only spinning rod that we came out with so far in the Sam Sobe Special Series. And uh, it's a pretty cool rod. It's a medium fast action and you can basically do anything with this rod uh, as far as applications go for bass fishing on a spinning rod. You can even do a lot of probably great walleye fishing with this. I like this rod for skipping sinkles under docks, for jig worming, for drop shotting. It's got a fairly moderate action but has a decently fast tip. It's a very high quality rod and it's a very middle of the road action rod. So it's not super light, it's not super heavy. You can do a lot of different techniques with this rod and I think that's why I liked it the most. It's kind of a, a go-to spinning rod. So it doesn't matter if you're casting out there in a drop shot for bass or if you're flipping around a small jig by the shallows or if you're skipping docks with a Senko, this rod seriously, I would, I would use it for anything spinning. Next rod, this is the whooping stick right here. In the Midwest, uh, and a lot of the lakes that I fish around home, they're very grass-driven lakes, so there's a lot of milfoil, there's a lot of coontail, um, there's a lot of lily pads, so it's a lot of flipping and frogging. That's one of my favorite ways to fish. So we decided to make a big old whooping stick together, and this is the Sam Sobe Special 765 Flippin' Rod. And uh, this is what you want if you're chucking around a big old Texas rig, a big old jig, and even frogging in some super thick stuff. So, so maybe I haven't been clear so far on how Dobbins kind of labels their rods with their length and their power. So this is the Sam 765 Flip. And what that means is the Sam, so that's the label of the rod, it's the Sam Sobe Special Rod, 765, it's a seven foot six rod, and the five stands for the action of the rod, so it's a five power. So it's a whooping stick, it's a heavy rod. And uh, that's kind of how you can read their rods if you go online and check out a variety of their other models. That's how you can kind of break down the length of the rod and the power. And then you can kind of match that to the technique that you want to do. So I'm super pumped about this rod. I love frogging, I love flipping, and this is gonna be a deadly whooping stick. I put a lot of time beating on this rod past two summers and I haven't broke it yet, so it's a beast. Last rod in the lineup, I'm, I'm excited about all of them, but I think I'm, most excited about this one. This right here is the Sam 724C and it's really cool. It's a heavy fast action rod. You can do a lot of things with this rod. This is like my go-to bait casting rod. Uh, it doesn't matter if I'm skipping a jig underneath a dock, if I'm skipping jig up in shallow cover, I can throw a spinner bait on this rod, I can throw a chatter bait on this rod. This is kind of my all around bait casting rod. It's a shorter, heavy, fast action rod. And uh, this, is, this is truly gonna be my bread and butter kind of all spring, all summer long. I'm really excited about this rod. I'm not being biased, I love those rods too, but I think this one, I think I'm just gonna use this one a lot. So I know this was just kind of a quick run through and there's a lot more to this story behind these rods. And I'm gonna tell it more when fishing kind of opens up and the weather's nicer and, and we can kind of really put these rods to the test. I'm gonna be talking about them all summer long. But um, yeah, I think these rods are gonna sell very well. It's an amazing quality rod for the price. And uh, I've, I've never been happier to put my name on anything else. Uh, this is a very special project that Gary, the rest of the team and myself have been working on for some time and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to get these in your guys' hands. So if you guys are interested in these rods, if you're looking to buy a new rod this summer, I'd highly suggest them. I'll make sure to link these down below. I do think they're gonna sell fast, so I hope they don't sell out right away. If you really want one of these, I hope you get the opportunity to order one. So on this channel, I work with a lot of amazing companies, but I don't sell a lot of stuff myself. And uh, Dobbins Rods isn't my company by any means. This is Gary Dobbins company, but it, it's a brand and it's a rod company I've worked with for a long time. And to get the opportunity to, to kind of partner up with them and, and collaborate on a project is, it's very special to me. And I don't, I don't sell merch. I don't really sell a, any of my own stuff on this channel. Uh, I just, I use what I like on this channel and I promote it to you guys and I, I would never put my name on something that I didn't wholeheartedly believe in. So if you guys do want to support this channel, this is a way you can do it um, by buying one of these sticks. It helps out Dobbins, it helps out the Sobe channel, it helps out me. And I really think you guys are gonna be impressed with the quality of product and uh, the quality of rod this is, especially at the price point it's at. So I'm very excited about this. Um, I'm very excited about Demo Day this Sunday with Intune Marine. If you guys are in the area, come on down, check it out. And uh, yeah, 
I guess there's enough left to be said, then stay tuned. And as always, let the adventure begin. See ya. Move ahead. Oh my pretty babe. Something ain't right. Got to find a way to move ahead. Move ahead. Oh my pretty babe. I won't be around till